Okay, hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube logo with uh, GIMP. So file new, 400 by 400, advanced options, fill with white, okay, and now make the screen bigger just so you can see it easier. And take, no, first make a new layer, sorry. Okay, and take your lip select tool and somewhere in the middle, do this. And go back to your um, menu and make it 250 by 250 pixels and, okay, now take your, um, gradient tool, I guess, and make a gray color which with the HTML notation 333333. Okay, that was just weird. Okay. And the background color to white. Now, take your gradient tool now and change it to radio. Uh, turn that, check that off. Back to strength, offset, 20. And from top to bottom, now select, shrink, 15. Okay. Now from bottom to top, Okay, select, shrink, 5, now new layer, okay, and get a color you like, I'm going to use gold, something gold, I'm just going to find it, okay, this is good enough, and take your fill tool and fill it in, now take your gradient tool again, if you want to call it that, and take a lighter gold or yellow or color, and move it down just a little bit to make it lighter, okay, and now, Offset to zero, take that off, opacity is good. And take adaptive super sampling off. Also, FG to transparent. Now from bottom from the bottom to from the bottom up until you see um, 120 pixels right there somewhere. So now do it again. And there. Now you have something that looks like that. Now make a new layer. Okay. And take your brush tool and Make it with a fuzzy brush, 19, white, and also make the scale 10. And somewhere in the middle, bottom, do that. Okay, now you want to merge that down. New layer. Take your lip select tool again, and do this. Move it in. Make sure it does not go over the silver part. Okay, now make it, get your gradient tool again, and that's good. Make it linear. And now, from the top to bottom, to look like this. Now, merge it down. Merge it down. So, oh, sorry. First, select none. Then, turn down the opacity until it looks something like this, so it's not as visible. Of course, that's what opacity does. Now, merge it down. Take your text tool and type in what you want. I'm just going to type in THH for the initials of tech help here. Now, make it that long. Sorry, wrong one. Now make the size lower. I'm gonna choose a font that I like. The body. The link will be in the description if I remember, which I will, hopefully. Okay, and make the size fit. Center it, and now change the color to a yellow if you're doing yellow, or red if you're doing red. You get the point. Okay, I'm just gonna use that. Okay, now go to script foo, you have to download that. The link will be in the description again. And do an inner glow. I'm changing it to white because I'm using yellow. Anyway, you're gonna change it to white so it looks better. Looks like that. Then script fill again. Layer effects, outer glow. Change it back to white again. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just makes it look better. Now, filters and light and shadow. Then, um, sorry, forgot something. Merge this down. Merge this down again. Now go to filters once again, sorry. And light and shadow. Drop shadow. Make it a little bit like a dark yellow, dark yellow, very dark. Okay. And I forgot something again, but it looks pretty good how it is anyway. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. And I'm on the wrong layer. I'm tired today, I'm sorry. Then it looks something like this. Now you would merge it down and go through the modes until you like something. Something that you like and something that you can see. And if you can't find anything that you like, just go with the first one. This one's pretty good. I like this too. I'll just go with value, but it's kind of hard to read, so I'll go with the normal one. You know what? No. I'll go with value. Okay, now, you're practically done. So just... Um, right. Make the background there invisible. Now, control M. Merge them all. Press control M. That doesn't work. So image, merge visible layers. Merge. Okay, and delete the background there. Now you're going to have to take the crop tool that looks like a knife or something like that, I guess. 
and just do something random for now. Press enter, delete. No, never mind the delete. Okay, I'm sorry. Again. And no, won't delete. That won't be good. Sorry. Okay, we'll try that again. And once again. And I'll make it something around here. And just trying to even it out. That seems good. Okay, so there you go. You might want to add a background if you want it, but it's good how it is. File, save as. Uh, to desktop, I'm going to save it as dhhlogo.jpg or png works too. And psd if you want to edit it, but if you use psd, you won't be able to upload it. So now save, export, at quality 100, save. 